Thanks for being with us here this noon hour. The Wisconsin Supreme Court is hearing arguments that will ultimately decide the fate of the Safer at Home order extension. Our Ben Jordan has been following the case throughout the morning today, and he joins us live now with the very latest. Ben, good afternoon. Vince and Susan, the hearing started at 10 o'clock this morning. It wrapped up about 15 minutes ago. It was very contentious on both sides the entire time. Here's a look inside the hearing. As you can see, it happened via video conference due to coronavirus concerns. Republicans in the state legislature are suing Wisconsin's Department of Health Services, alleging an abuse of power. GOP legislators are asking the state's highest court to respond to two questions, whether DHS violated state law by extending the stay-at-home order past Memorial Day without approval from the legislature. And secondly, if DHS did not violate that law, did it overstep its authority by closing non-essential businesses and ordering people to stay home? Under Governor Evers' emergency declaration, DHS was designated as the lead agency in response to the pandemic. Both sides had about 45 minutes to make their case, starting with the legislature. This case is not about whether a lockdown is a good idea, how far one should go, or whether and when Wisconsin should reopen in the months or years before a vaccine is developed. It's not even about the governor's ample powers to respond to a public health emergency under section 323.10, subject to the legislature's oversight. This case instead raises first a basic issue of administrative law. Isn't it the very definition of tyranny for one person to order people to be imprisoned for going to work among other ordinarily lawful activities? Where does the Constitution say that's permissible, Council? The Constitution provides that the legislature may enact statutes uh, to protect the public health, and that is exactly what the legislature has done in Chapter 252.02, uh, Sub 3, 4, and 6. So I think that expression of legislative intent that grants DHS the power to do whatever is necessary to combat a novel deadly communicable disease like the one we're facing today is where we find that consent. The state Supreme Court is expected to make a quick decision on this. All seven justices will meet behind closed doors this afternoon at 1.30. Reporting live, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.